Welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video i am noji malunga for those of you who do not know me and this weekend this weekend we are off to sabi sands um, i forgot the name of the lodge but basically in july imagine it's september now but in july i won a trip with progress so with six of my friends with 200,000 rand so i ended up taking four people and got an upgrade but yeah basically i'm gonna be vlogging the entire experience right now we just requested an uber we're off to the airport i'm looking forward to the trip so the trip is from tuesday to friday literally this place is always booked out we even had to go during the week and not across the weekend because it's just always booked out so um yeah let me not waste any more time let's get into the video <laughs> Take us to the other side of the airport. <laughs> so this is the shuttle that will take us to the other side. You got it, girl. You got it. You got it, Yeah. Pretty little thing. You got a bag and now you got it. So this. Is yes, the reception area. So the waiting room has cool drink, coffee, tea, and snacks. Lodge now, which is about 20 minutes from the landing strip. And literally, all we see is just land on land. So we just arrived at the lodge it's called zimbambili game lodge but guys it's absolutely stunning here so i'm just gonna quickly do a room tour to just show you where we're staying we even have a private pool outside absolutely beautiful so let's go so this is the door as you enter then you have where you put your bags and obviously courtesy of pongrass they even have um pongrass um gowns so beautiful then you have where you keep your stuff, clothes, then they have a mini bar, they have a fridge here, so all the food and all the stuff is catered for. Okay, then we got a palm grass, of course, then you move on to the room. So cute, so pretty. Um, we also have some palm grass pillows then it's outside so you have a chilling area outside some lounging chairs the mini pool guys this pool's tiny but it's so great and this is where the animals walk so they said we, we can see animals at whatever time of the day then you also have like a lounging chair outside so this is the bathroom from the outside but i'll go inside to quickly show you guys a nice chilling couch area then you enter the beautiful bathroom look at this decor just look at this decor then you have a mirror with two basins the basic toilet and then you've got a shower overlooking outside with your bathtub how pretty is this 
so excited to be here for the next couple of days from the entrance they even have like set up a pongrass thing there's literally pongrasses everywhere you turn so yeah we're gonna be drinking some mcc the whole week the time right now is what's the time quarter to two so lunch is being served from half past one to about half past three so we're gonna go have lunch then go on a game drive and we'll see where the night takes us Good morning and welcome to day two of the vlog so yesterday was a complete write off so we were so tired we went on a mini game drive and the lady just wanted to take so many photos but today i'll be taking you guys on the full experience of being in this place so i'll show you the different vicinities and basically what they have to offer um so right now it's about half past nine we're gonna go for breakfast at 10 o'clock so the actual rooms what you pay per night it comes with all the meals so breakfast lunch and supper so they have like a buffet kind of a thing and they give you a menu of things you can choose from so that's also kind of nice that you pay all the costs one time and you don't you're not thinking about oh how much am i going to spend on food and stuff like that so that's really great however they do not have like in-home services so you can't like order food at a random time you have to eat within the um, time frame that they offer so after breakfast i'm also probably going to do a facial um, or a massage i don't know i might go tomorrow but currently the weather is looking sad hopefully it turns around so just one more thing they do offer game rights sunset and sunrise every single day so that cost is also included in what you pay for the room per night so yeah it's pretty great um so yeah let's just head off to breakfast and we'll see what we do for the rest of the day so we're off to breakfast so it's 50 or 45 minutes. no the chef said because oh. Ulan is 12 minutes away now. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. So I'm lodge number one. <laughs> These two are lodge number two. Right, it's right. Yo. <laughs> it's close to the. Uh, uh. Oh, Pets went. No. I thought I to I thought they'll give us masks. This is where we're having our breakfast meal. So the main. um dining area our dinner last night was in a different area than breakfast we had a bright out under the stars it's breakfast some muesli and a platter <laughs> So I just finished with the facial and my life has honestly changed like I never believed in facials as a concept like it doesn't make sense I can get just a full body massage why am I doing my face you know but besides all the different benefits that um, it brings to your skin like hydrating boosting glowing and pigmentation all of those things is actually a great thing to do so as soon as you can please get a facial so i'm going to quickly show you around the game lot so this is the entrance so this is what you see as you enter reception on the left I mean, no, now. Put the man? Yeah. What's in your face? How's work, Laura? That's not funny. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah, bye. Enjoy. And then. It was nice, Shem. Okay. Then we got a little sun.
so we finally back from the game drive which was so amazing because we get we got to see so many animals so basically the drive is three hours long which is actually not bad because um out of the five from the big five we actually saw three so we saw a lion a rhino and a leopard so basically we're gonna go in the morning again tomorrow we are hoping to see an elephant and a giraffe giraffe is actually my favorite animal so i'm hoping to see that um but yeah basically now we're off to supper they've set up the table for us so we're gonna have supper <laughs> <laughs> and yeah we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the night on the morning game drive we just stopped for our pit stop so we're having some amarula and hot chocolates and this morning we saw a lot of we saw a pride of lions yeah which was really cool elephants and guys the elephants literally walk here here by the car so it was really great and we saw a leopard that never <laughs> that never was <laughs> changed its spot <laughs> that's funny with two two of their cubs. cubs that it's was been cute. really great. I'm glad we woke up. Like I was tired in the morning, but it was totally worth it. Yeah. Two thousand years later. So it is the end of the day. We basically just chilled the whole day because we are extremely tired. We been having palm grass on tap so it's been a lot you know so right now we're just waiting for dinner it's currently six o'clock and dinner's at seven but i can see where they set up and it's so pretty let me show you guys how cute is this so this is where they set up and we're gonna have the views so i'm pretty excited to see what we're having for supper Think about you guys. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new day. I'm so exhausted. The trip is over now, so sad, but it'd be like that. So, so we landed in Johannesburg yesterday and checked in at the Intercontinental um, Hotel right opposite the airport because um, some of us are going back to PMB. And yeah, overall, the trip, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. The staff is kind, the views are great. And we got to see the Big Five, which is not a common thing. I used to always go to the Kruger when I was younger because my mom's family is from Nile Sprays. And seeing the Big Five in like one sort of um, visit is not common at all. So I think because this is a private lodge, this is definitely something they have over um, other lodges. Then lastly, the reason why I'd give it a nine. So you need to understand if you go there, you literally go in there to chill. So um, as you guys saw, they have the spa, the gay, uh, the morning and evening game drives, and you have your own private pool. But besides that, it's literally like the chilling area and you sipping on some drinks and interacting with the people you're with. So it's not bad because we were there for three nights. And initially I was like, yo, that's a long time to just chill in the bush and do nothing. But it was actually enough. Like, like we even were sad that we were leaving you know so um yeah so just note that if you do go there it's to chill and relax like it's not like activities wire wire and all of those but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog please do leave a comment down below if you have any questions about um that specific place and yeah if you guys are looking to go to a beautiful bush getaway i would definitely highly recommend um going to this place so thank you so much for watching my video and please do like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribing is free please guys just just do it and yeah i'll see you guys pretty soon with another video in the deep end like usual niggas swear they passed us they doing too much 